flavor. So don't touch until it hits this pocket here. So you gotta leave that hand. Try to catch it on that step. Yes. Good. 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 Good job. The work. Yeah, you got, you're preparing for something that's bigger. I mean, right. So you can't like do like average like work. You got to do like all American work. No, when you get ten. Good. Good, switch it. Fast, quick, you should be uncomfortable. Good. Good. Nice, last one, hip to hip. Good. 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 Sell it. Boom. Good. Sell it. Boom. Good. Catch. That shake. Boom. One, two. Good. Good. Nice. Deep lunge. Good. Move it. Two for two. Eight for ten. Here we go. Good job. Good work. Good job, dude. So we just went through training um, with my coach Mo. Uh, it was tough. It was good. Got that good work in. What? Those one on ones. So oh, he does. I'll pull. The, I'm gonna send you the clip. I busted him in one on ones. I, you know, nutmegged him and. Yeah, you know. right. I did. I'll pull up the video. She got lucky one time. She sent it on, to, on my birthday. Uh, actually, she posted it every year on my birthday. She got lucky. She put it between my legs one time. But she knows she's I'm not ready for that all game. All the time. Yet. I'm about to pull the video up right now. <laughs> Just to show y'all, cause it was tough. Hey, my birthday is on the seventh, dude. I know. Right see, I be busting in the ones, bro. Hey, man, you want to run it back right now? Get this on, please. Oh, you turn your ankle. All right. Oh, you gonna get busted in three? Oh, right. I should have shot that. Should I shoot it? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh. 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 Nah, we'll get some buckets. Oh. One up. 
Twos and threes, right? No. <laughs> Cheater. Cheating. That's a contact layup. Cheating out here. Was it two zero? Two zero. Buddy, he taught me the bump, so I had to use it again. You see, I'm using the bump now. Yeah, it's not a good big deal. Wow, well, if you could bump this old man, all them little girls would be flying. Give me my money. <laughs> money, money, yeah. that's money. Yeah, nothing. Oh, god damn it. It's easy, bro. <laughs> One nothing. Just being Samoan, like half Samoan, and uh, like one of the people, and playing on the USA team, like that's something that really stands out to me. I don't think uh, a lot of Samoans have done that. Just to be like one of the Samoan, only Samoans to play on the Team USA, it's something I really it's value. You know, it's super cool to represent the Samoan culture. Um, I think being a leader is definitely one of the main points of basketball, and especially being a point guard. So you gotta be physical through that contact. My dad's name is Joe and my mom's name is Julie. Uh, my dad played basketball. You know all those dad stories, like, oh, I was hooping, I was hooping all these NBA stars. I was like, I'd be like, yeah, sure. But he's also taught me a lot. In the front yard, we always just get some shots up every once in a while. And then my mom, uh, she was a gymnastics person. I think she like almost won state one year. She tried playing basketball when she was little, uh, but she scored on the wrong hoop. So definitely didn't get my basketball skills from her. Um, I love them so much. They've been there. They sacrifice a lot of time. See me be great with all my other siblings too. I just remember just seeing them like sacrifice all the time, like all the weekends, taking us to AU tournaments, um, going down to Portland for like games and stuff. They're just, oh wow, I just love them so much. <laughs> yes. Katie, oh, I'm Christian. Um, I'm a really huge believer. Um, I remember my like first like faith. Like when I first started believing, uh, it was in quarantine. Uh, like I said, I was going through something and um, something just called me to read the Bible and I felt like that now, just looking back, I feel like it was like God's voice. Like he's like, come, read, come to me from Matthew 11, 28. Then Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest. And that's like one of the things that just like stuck out to me. Like I felt it was like the first page I went to and it was like that scripture. And I was like, wow, like Jesus is speaking through me, speaking to me. Um, and you know, ever since then, like I've like had it, that's big for me, you know. Um, he's my number one, he will forever be my number one. Even like all these things are all temporary. Um, and Jesus is forever, you know. Uh, and just me and his, like the relationship that I've built with Jesus, is, it's something I really value. Um, I try to like give him, get him into like everything I do, like whether that's basketball, uh, eating, like I pray before every game, pray before every meal. Um, it's amazing. I'm just. <laughs> It's hard to explain, like his love, it's, I don't know. 
<laughs> it's amazing. As I continue to like to go through this journey, um, I would love to use like use my platform to spread the word of Jesus. You know, Scripture says like spread my word to the people who those who don't know. Uh, one of the organizations that uh, focuses on giving back is my brother's company. It's called Push. It stands for Pray. Or the P really stands for anything: Pray, Push, Persevere until something happens. Um, it's a nonprofit organization that focuses on DEI trainings and uh, mentorships within the community. Um, it's something that just I really admire. And he loves giving back to the community and I think that's something I really want to do. As I get older and as my platform grows, um, I want to give back to the community. One of the things that uh, really stands out to me, like working for PUSH, is um, my brother-in-law, John Gaines, created a book or made a book called Key of the Queen for young girls. Yeah, and he also does some motivational speaking, so I mean, if you want to book him for that, he's a phenomenal speaker. He's life-changing. And just seeing him give back to the, like, the community, the young people. Especially in the basketball world, uh, we live in a world like where young girls are some, sometimes counted out, um, and I think that's something I really want to just inspire and instill in them. Um, like you can do anything you really put your mind to, and I, I just hope I can be that person in the future, or even now, uh, to prove to them like I can, like we can and we will, you know. Like I like to draw, I like to color sometimes. Like when everything's like super stressful, I like to just color. <laughs> I'm really good at chess. <laughs> I be playing my brother all the time. I think it helps me with the basketball game too. Um, my older brother, Michael, he taught me how to play chess. Um, you know, I'm not like the best, but you know, I can definitely beat a lot of people. <laughs> like me playing chess definitely correlates to like my life's decisions. Like one wrong move in chess can like really just like mess up your whole like gameplay, you know? Like if I move that way, he's gonna kill me right there. But like, and then in basketball, like if I pass there, that person's gonna steal it, so I just, you know, try to fake fake out my <laughs> opponent, I guess you'd say. <laughs> my offers include uh, Arizona, Oklahoma, UW, Montana State, Penn State, Oregon State, Cal, Ohio State, Alabama, Vanderbilt, University of Georgia. My interests are uh, UConn, Duke. My recruiting experience, uh, I was a sophomore. Now I'm gonna be a junior in July 1st was the date that colleges can, uh, like, text you, call you. I remember at 12 o'clock, like <laughs> 12 p.m. I believe, like one coach was like calling me. I was like, "Yo, what?" It's like the next morning. I remember waking up to like so much text messages. I was like, "Yo, my phone is blowing up right now." So much calls. I remember like a lot of coaches called me during school. I was like, "Oof, I can't answer that right now." Um, but you know, at first it was getting a little overwhelming. But at the same time, I was just super blessed to have the opportunity to like get all these coaches to reach out to me. Um, it's an amazing process too. And just, you got to take your time to build relationships with each and every one. Um, yeah, and you gotta ask the hard questions too about like the coaches. Um, it's your journey, it's your process. Um, and I'd say Megan would be the person that like blocks out the noise. She knows like all the fakes and all like the, the real ones. And uh, she tells me like, she tells me like all the tips. At the end of the day, it's more than basketball. Um, I'm a person, I'm a human being. And I think that's something, and also like a winning team, you know, I want people around me who want to win uh, get hopefully get that national championship you know that's a that's a goal in mind for sure just working hard enough to get that playing spot um, you know I think I'm, I'm a competitor I'm a hard-working uh, athlete so definitely getting that uh, starting spot you know making an impact almost I feel like right when I get there hopefully that's a goal um, and just winning a national championship that would be so amazing I am a person that speaks life so hey I'm gonna win a national championship so what people don't know about me is that um, I love anime. <laughs> Yo, um, there's one called Naruto. Oh my, it's so, it literally teaches me like, like how to persevere, you know? Uh, Naruto is one of the, my favorite animes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing, um, it's so good. Like, and there's this one, there's like this one anime. You put, I'm gonna put you guys on anime. There's Naruto, One Piece. One Piece is a thousand episodes. You know, I'm on the 300 right now. Garfield um, has meant to me, like, it's big, it's super. It's, Huge legacy behind it. Hey, you gotta protect our fucking house. All right, let's go. I have to take transfers over there to get a bigger team, to make a superstar team. We got many greats such as Brandon Roy. Mommy, you gonna work? All right, we are gonna play good straight up man to man defense. No hands. Uh, Joyce Walker, uh, Loretta Williams. She's one of the. She was like one of the OGs for real. Uh, I just saw her at the YMCA down in CD. 
Um, she was she taught she was teaching me. <laughs> she didn't know nothing about me. I was like I got humbled. I was humbled for sure. She's like because I was playing defense on her. Um, she made me guard her. She's like I can tell you just inexperienced basketball player. <laughs> I was like. Dang. So um, it was definitely a humbling experience, you know. I feel like I needed that too. So uh, there was a team before, like a long time ago, called the Super Dogs um, that went under undefeated, and I think we were Super Dogs Part Two. And I feel like everyone like was just super proud of us. But this elevator ain't even working. Yo, if we have to take the stairs. Um, I'm just gonna leave right now. <laughs> Yo, I think the elevator's broken. We might have to take the stairs. <laughs> Oh, see me chilling. I think it's one. I'm not really used to this camera live, but oh, man. let me show you some anime. Even my profile, I mean, even my home screen. Anime, yo, look at it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna show you a, a video, anime video. Which way are we going? <laughs> okay, uh, we still gotta go straight. But yeah, this is Tacoma. I be in Tacoma all the time. I do live in the CD though, so. Perfectly, I like CD better than Tacoma. They got us walking out here. Got my guy out right here. Stay tuned for a documentary. They got us walking so far. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bart Looper, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, you can have that. He's good what he does, though. I love this food. Nice. Best babysitter. We all need any babysitter. $20 an hour. Oh, yeah, what? Oh, yeah. I haven't done anything else um, this summer. Are you trying to say I don't have any friends? You know what anime is, right? Yeah, it's about, it's about Ian. <laughs> it's about Ian's player. Let's do one thing before school starts. Yeah, 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 Nini, say, say something. Come here. Nini's the basketball player? Thanks, Nini. Let's see, um, should I go on my Instagram or so? Oh my gosh, the interview. <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah. Let's see how. Oh, yeah, let's watch it. Oh, man, is there no Wi Fi here? <laughs> Just got dunked on. Yeah, you gotta get a. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't beat her. her. Bro, remember that family? I have bloody ankles. I beat her so bad. Bloody ankles for me crossing her, yo. No, like. no <laughs> I wasn't there that time. No, no, no. Remember the family I basketball game? So bad, threw the ball in my face. <laughs> yeah. You bugging. Like you bugging. I'm ready whenever. I'll, I got hoop shoes right now, right now. No, you get hurt. <laughs> UWI is <laughs> down the street. <laughs> I don't know she not ready, y'all. Hey, she get hurt, bro. Who, oh, me? It was. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. What'd you say? <clears throat> so, you won. You won. Mom lost. You won Your every, daughter. You won every championship. Hey man, that's you the goal. Won.